Hello friends, welcome to my channel. Very rarely you see me in bare skin. I get a lot of compliments from you all that I've got beautiful skin. Thank you for being so generous and giving me so many compliments. But I have a lot of darkness around my eyes, a little bit around my lips and a lot of acne marks. But I have a trick that I use to get that beautiful skin. So in this video, I'm going to share those tricks with you to get a beautiful skin. So why to talk much? Further ado, let's get started. This is my bare skin. You can see up and close how many marks, blemishes and darkness I have. So what I'm using is an orange corrector because orange corrector will camouflage all the darkness, all the discoloration. So orange corrector is basically used for avoiding all the discoloration darkness and it also provides a brightness to your face right after this the tip number one is if you're using a corrector use your finger to set the corrector onto your skin never use a beauty sponge or a brush because they have tendency to absorb product and if you use these two products you'll of course have to use a lot of correct and this may lead to tendency of mixing of concealer and foundation with the corrector now tip number three most important note it down use a dry sponge and absorb access corrector yes this is a shield to avoid any mixture of orange color with the base makeup after the step tip number four is to get a concealer which is a full coverage yes use a concealer which is full coverage so that the orange corrector beneath is been camouflaged and your eyes will instantly start looking bright now you have the solution to the problem your concealer and the foundations that look gray now your foundation or concealer will never ever look grey my girls. After we have blended our concealer well, we'll set our concealer. We'll set the concealer with the translucent powder. And the tip number 5 is, if you're blending or you're setting your concealer and foundation, always use a brush. Yes, now I'm using a NYX Cosmetic Full Coverage Foundation and again I'll buff it into my skin using a brush. This brush is a buffing brush from Tarte Cosmetics. Now tip number six, the action. The action you have to work while working with your concealer or foundation is buffing. You have to gently dab the foundation or the concealer into your skin. You never have to drag the products. If you'll start dragging the products, of course, this will lead to the mixture of orange color with your base makeup and your face will suddenly start looking orange. So remember this. After I'm done with my base makeup, it's the time to show you a base makeup wherein no blemishes, no acne marks are visible. You can see very well my face makeup, right? I hope you like this video, so try it. Now let me complete my face makeup and come back with the magic of editing. So these all were my secret tricks to cover my blemishes, dark circles and acne marks. I hope these will be useful to you. You can see right now a full face of makeup with no marks no dark circles i hope you liked my video if you liked my video kindly give it a like and subscribe until we meet next take care of yourself bye bye